I'm laying on a pug. Tango. Stan, come here. Oh, Pratilla. Hi, Pratilla. Hi, Pratilla. Oh, you want to play? <gasps> Scott, Priscilla's playing like a puppy. Oh my God, I see people are joining. It makes me happy. That makes me so happy. Oh, 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 oh. See, she's still one of the only dogs who plays. She's a play girl. Isn't that cute, you guys? How adorable. Yeah. Scott, watch. Look at her playing. Just want to play. I got you. Oh my God, this dog is so cute. This cute? Oh, Gigi's acting crazy, you're right. Oh, 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 oh. That's cute. That's cute. You're going to eat your own paw? Okay, and then here we have Rita. This is not Tango, this is Rita. That was Lucy. Well, I want to call her Lucy. Okay, well, we're calling her Lucy. She's deaf. So it doesn't matter what we call her, but she came to us with the name Chica, and we can't have another Chica because there's only one Chica. So this girl is our new foster. Yeah, right. Right? Are you our foster? So we met her yesterday. We are doing a little favor for my stepdaughter and taking two fosters and bringing one to the new foster parent up here in Monterey. But by the time we got home, we were already bonded with him. And his name is Ant, but we just changed his name to Stan because it sounds the same. Watch this. Stan, Stanley, Stan, come, come. Come on, Stan, Stan, come. We were scared to death because he was beside himself, nervous, just absolutely out of his gourd, just shaking. And I thought, oh, this isn't gonna work. He gets in the house, it's like he's lived here forever. Come here, Stanley. And say, Mommy already went to the grocery store and got me some clothes. This is Stanley. So he looked like Chili Verde. And then Lucy looks like Tango. Huh? Huh, baby? So this is not supposed to be at our house. This is not supposed to be at our house. But... I told Scott that I was going to go drop him at his foster, and Scott said, not Stan. And Chris Fisher's on here and says, no more dogs. We're just fostering. Oh, God, look at him. He hasn't done this yet. Okay, I know you guys want to get stretching. So we're fostering two dogs, okay? And like my husband said, what six if you have five? But this guy won't let me out of his sight, so that's why I already went and got him a shirt that says, Mad Love for My Mama. <laughs> I'm attached. He spent seven hours in the car like this, sleeping on me. So, Allison Eastwood is my stepdaughter. She is the founder of Eastwood Ranch Animal Rescue Cats and Dogs. And if you ever want to foster through Eastwood Ranch, you just put in an application and you'll get one of these, okay? So thank you guys for the support. But this dude, so this is the one that we're taking to as foster up here and she's great if we keep, he, she doesn't mind if we keep him. And um, his personality is insane. He's super funny and does cute stuff that I haven't seen. We don't have a dog that does what he does. Lucy doesn't care about anything but food and cuddles. The only thing is he, he screamed all night long because he wasn't sleeping in our bed. Huh? Oh God. Did you just have a vasectomy? All right, so let's get stretching. Those are the two new fishers. We are crazy, but we'll see what happens. I might need your guys' help. If it doesn't work out with having six dogs again, I might need your help, okay? I might need one of you guys to adopt one. All right, let's do some stretches. I missed you. We were uh, we did something crazy. We went and saw Chicago again. We drove very far to see Chicago again. And then we got these little 
boogers on the way back. So that's where we, what we were doing. Hi. So Lucy, again, this dog, I, it, it's the most, she just wants love. Huh, Lucy? She just said, I want love. I just like to be loved and held and I like treats. She's, she's adorable. Huh, Lucy? She going to stay with us. Okay, let's get stretching. Today's stretch is exacting. Thank you guys for the support. Why are you panting? You panting? Today's stretching is going to be a little bit exacting. I saw that Uncle Lennis was on here. I saw Chris Fisher was on here. I see a lot of you OGs on here and it makes me really happy. Let's get, Beckbo, thank you. I, the screaming all night though. We'll see what happens. The barking, shrieking, come get me. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's do some stretches and I'm going to be exacting because you'll see why. So we're going to start hands and knees. Excuse me, Puggy. This cute pug. It's a cute little girl. Fingers are wide, hands and knees, and I just want you to just shake your booty a few times to loosen up your low back. Just left and right, left and right. Oh, Priscilla, I don't want the eye boogers. And then of course, here's Chili, and the test was gonna be if Chili was nice. If Chili wasn't nice, they were out of here. She doesn't, loves them, licking them, playing with them, tangos playing with them. Shake your booty. Shake your, t thank you for my bath. Shake your tail feather. Now with your right arm, reach for me. And just balance, just stretch. And now push forward even more. You'll feel this in your low back. No, Chris, you need to stretch. Three, two, one, put that hand away. Wiggle your butt three times each way. Right and left, right and left, right and left. And now reach, I'm thinking of Mama854 right now. I hope she's on here. So you're here, then you extend, okay? So you just lift and then extend. You'll feel it in your low back, holding for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Put it away, shake your booty three times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Now reach up past your ears. Oh my God. Look out, ladies. You'll feel that. Reaching up. Ooh, it's a lot of tension on the low back. Hi. Three, two, one. Put it away. And three more times. Right and left. Hi, buddy. And left. One more time. Right and left. Now reaching left arm up past shoulder. Holding it. You can do it. You can do it. Engage your core. Lennis, you better be doing this. Three, two, one, relax. Go to your forearms and stay here. Just stay right here, stretching your beautiful body. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it for three seconds. Here we go. In, hold three, two, one, exhale. Just relax. I want you to keep your hands where they are and push back up onto knees and hands. And you're here, okay? Now sit back down. Try to put your butt on your heels. Keep your hands where they are. My arms are straight this time. Come back up to hands and knees. Sit back on booty to heels. Keep your hands where they are. And you're here. Drop your head. Stretch the back of your neck. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, put your hands back by your knees as close as you can and rotate five times. You're gonna show me inside of elbows, show me your elbows, okay, like that. Push against that floor, give it all you got, ready? I haven't combed my hair in a few days. The braids, I keep just rebraiding the filthy hair. I don't know what it looks like under the hat, but I think we're about to find out. Hi, honey. Scott, do you wanna get them for a minute? Rotate, here we go. Elbow inside and out, there's one. In and out, there's two. Engage your core and elbow, there's three. And inside, hi. Outside, there's four. Inside, five. Outside, there's five. Now, with your fingers wide, lean forward, get your toes off the ground. This is a stretch, so check it out. Hands are near knees, toes come up. You're stretching your wrists, engage your core. You're balancing on palms and knees, no feet, no shins. 
Hi. Hi, Lucy. And now switch your grip. Fingers pointing towards you. Put your hands on the ground. Sit back, pushing away, stretching your forearms and your wrists. Take a big, deep breath. Let's start decompressing the day. Ready? Breathe in. Just exhale into that stretch. <sighs> um, they are loving being front and center in the camera. Do you want to just grab Lucy? Well, I do, but then she goes back into pole position. Hey, Lucy. And then roll your wrists five times. One. Ouchie. Two. Engage your core still. Three. Four. And five. Roll out. One. Ah. Two. That kills. Three. Four. Five. Now, here's the exacting part. I'm not... You guys can talk or do whatever you want. Make fun of me. Make fun of my husband. Make fun of whatever. Just joking. But I'm going to show you a stretch I want you to learn. And it is a very exacting stretch, okay? And it's something that took me an unusual amount of time to learn in yoga teacher training, just adjusting the old bra, sorry. Because I couldn't understand that she didn't want the extra effort. She didn't want the big effort. She's looking for this line, and now I'm looking for you for this line. Not this line, not this line. This is the line. Check it out. Hands and knees. Engage your core, okay? You're gonna lift your right leg and extend it. I think I need to go back here to show you what I mean. You're gonna go here, okay? So look at that straight line from my heel to my head. I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm here, level. Your hip bone has an arrow pointing straight to the ground. You're not opening your hip. We're going to hold it for 10. So get yourself ready. Everything is nice and straight. Your toes point to the ground as does your hip bone. Ready, extend your right leg. So you can see your toes. Everything is straight. Eight, gaze to the floor. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it to the side as far as it goes and stretch. Just have a nice little stretch for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put it away. Other side, extend that left leg. Remember, hip bone, ground, toes, ground. For Reba, you're so right. Ready and extend. Look at my, look at my toes. If I turn sideways, look at the angle, look at the angle, look at the angle. My leg is straight. Do you see I'm not here? I'm not trying to be a show off. I'm not lazy. It's just right there. But look, I was even open. That's wrong, boo. Hip to the ground. It's not as easy as it seems. Three, two, one. Bring that leg to the side. See where it goes naturally for you. And hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Now see, there's control in that. That's why I'm being exacting today. You're not here, that's not it. It is hip to the ground, toes to the ground, leg straight like you're pushing. And when you can learn to do that, you're gonna be able to do warrior three in yoga real easily. Moving on, hands and knees. Extend your right leg, toes to the ground for five seconds. Four, engage your core. Two, one, crawl your hands forward. Shift your weight lower to the ground. Keep that leg where it was on Priscilla's head for 10, nine, eight, seven, ouch, six, five, four, three, two, one. Try to push back. Okay, tell me if I have my audio back. Scott, tell Morgan I'm doing stretch class. Um, can, 
Can you guys, can you tell Morgie not to call because I'm doing stretch class? Can you hear me? Good. Okay, thanks. When I get a phone call, it usually disconnects the audio. So you see that one? Well, thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Georgie. Okay, so you see it's not, that wasn't that easy to do that. Thank you, Denise. Here we go. Ready? We're going to extend. Here we go, guys. Extend the left leg. Hip is down. You automatically want to open. Get that thing down. It's low. Eight, seven, six, five. Control. Four, three, two, one. Crawl your hands forward. Lower and keep it elevated. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Elbows tucked. Four, three, two, one. Push yourself back up. See if you can with that one leg. Shift back to child's pose. Good, so this is a really good day for learning how to control your body and working on your low back and your core, okay? Go all the way to the ground, please. You do you, depending on how your back feels, fingers are wide, bring your head, oh, I've got a bad cyst right now here. Ooh, bring it back. Just gently push up to upward facing dog, see what your body does. If you're able to straighten your arms, please gaze skyward. We're gonna hold for five, four, Three, two, one. Bring it down slowly like you're doing a reverse push-up. Slow, 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 slow. All righty. Now we're going to do cobra, which is just to here. Cobra is just here. Okay? Here. So we're going to do cobra together as a group. Here we go. We're here. Fingers wide. They go right to the sides of your boobs if you have them. And if you don't have boobs, you have pecs. We all have pecs. Put them to the side of your pecs. We're just going to come up two inches with the hands. Here we go. We're up. We're holding 10, ah, 8, 9, 8, oh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands down. Push back. Back, back to child's pose. True child's poses, arms to the side. I just keep mine in front. Feels good to me. Do what you want. All right, now we're going to lay down on our tummy. You can either stay propped up on your forearms or go all the way down. It's a little bit harder when you're all the way down. And you're going to lift again. You're going to do that same extended leg with the toes pointing down and the hip pointing down. Same exact thing. Are you confused, sweetheart? Do you think I left? I'm right here. She's having such a hard time with her vision and her hearing. So here we go. We're going to keep it elevated for 10 seconds. Here we go. There's the three-day braid hair. Here we are. We're up and lift. 10, 9, oh, it's a killer. 8, 7, yikes. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put it away. Without much effort, without moaning and groaning, yes, you can. You're going to push yourself up and back again, stretching out your low back, child's pose. <sighs> Deep breaths. Slinking back down to the area where you do cobra. Hello, Chili Verde. And either balancing on forearms or like this, whatever you want. We're gonna lift the left leg for 10 seconds. Here we go, ready? And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. It's a killer on the low back. Three, two, one. Without making a lot of noise, my dears, push yourself back, back, butt to the sky, child's pose. We're gonna stand up, and I want you to get yourself to your feet as gracefully as you can. Let's see how few movements you can make to get there. Can you go here and up? Can you go foot, push up? Whatever you got, do it the most gracefully or the fewest movements. Go ahead and stand up. I don't know.
know why it keeps pausing. Okay, so we've just done practice. We've been on our tummies and we did that leg lift from Cobra. How can I go a week without getting a phone call? Okay, so I can, I can go days without getting a phone call, but I've had four phone calls since we started. And each time the phone rings, it disconnects Instagram. So we, I can't, you know, Wild Zep used to, used to try to help me with it. I, there's nothing you can do. When I get a phone call during live, it kicks me off of Instagram and then when I go back on after the phone call, it takes the audio off. So when you guys see that happening, it's because I'm getting a phone call. The phone call disconnects the live, pauses it, and then it takes like 30 seconds for the audio to come back. I can't explain it, it's always been like that. So um, let's finish up this, uh, let's finish up this wonderful stretch. Go ahead and stand up. We've just been working now on that hip control, this. And this is so much harder than it looks because what we want to do is open our hip for balance or we want to go higher. There's a lot of different things here, but what the goal is, is to get your leg parallel to, your, to the floor. So I like to start with my fingers wide, gentle bend forward, Start to lift the right leg, keep tipping, and just stop where you don't feel comfortable anymore. The goal is to hit a human letter T, okay? So it's hips to the ground, toes to the ground. It's control. It's not so much strength or balance, it's body control, because you can all do it. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds, here we go. Arms to the side, you are nice and strong, nice and tall, neck is long, tilt your body forward, keep your thumbs on your thighs, that helps. Tilt forward, keep your torso long, start to lift your right leg, if this is good for you, stay here, because you're a straight line from your heel to your head still, see? Then bend, keep bending, keep bending, see if you can make a letter T, your gaze is to the floor. Correct your hips, we're gonna hold for 10. Nine, engage your core, eight, seven, six, five, engage your core, four, three, two, one, put it away. So that's a killer, right? We're not doing very much, but you're getting strength everywhere. Core, low body, control with your upper body. Let's do the other side. Thumbs on your thighs. Body is nice and tall, chin is elevated. Starting to tip forward. Once you get right about where you can't stand it anymore, lift the left leg. We're in a straight line right now, heel to toe. See if you can keep bending. Your hip points to the ground. Once you get where you think you're going, let's hold for 10, here we go. 10, engage your core, nine, eight, toes down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, put it away. So that's not very easy, is it? It feels very challenging at first. Once you get it, you're gonna feel really good about yourself. All right, we're gonna do something different right now. We're going to do a standing meditation. So go ahead and Get your feet apart a little bit more than you would naturally, just outside the shoulders, and just loosen up. 
and then roll your shoulders back five times. One big exaggerated, two, three, four, five. Now your arm, right arm first. One, make sure you have room, two, five times. Three, four, one more time. Five, now your left arm. One, two, three, four, and five. And now just relax. Close your eyes. See if you can stay standing. If your balance is messed up and you're not able to, keep your eyes open. But let's all close our eyes if we can. Just feel what it's like for 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, settle into your body. Your feet are there to support your body weight and they're doing a great job. Arms to the side, chin is elevated, and if it, you can, again, close your eyes. And we're gonna do Shavasana together, 60 second meditation with a body check. You're standing up, your eyes are closed, and what I want you to do first of all is release your quadriceps muscles as if your kneecaps had weights on them, pulling your kneecaps towards your toes. Keep your eyes closed. Soften that part of your body. Now I want you to move to your quadriceps and your hamstrings. And I want you to imagine that they're made out of cotton candy. I mean, some of us do have cotton candy thighs, right? Mine are made of cotton candy. But... I want you to imagine the lightness of your quadriceps and your thighs. Those are your, some of your biggest muscles in your body, but imagine them being light and fluffy and just weightless. And as you do this, feel your weight fall more heavily into your feet. Your knees might have tensed up again like mine just did. Let your knees fall. Let them fall. Kneecaps are not engaged. Move to your hips, you guys. And go from your hips to your low ribs and just relax the abdominal area. It does so much. It's digesting all day, purifying blood, releasing hormones, controlling elimination. Just let it rest together for 10 seconds. I'm counting so you don't have to. Imagine everything just being at rest. Two. And one, move to the back side of your body, release your buns. They work so hard keeping us nice and tall. Just relax them, let them go down as far as you can toward your heels. You can make any joke you want, but I want you to release your buns. Notice your knees might be trying to engage this whole time, let your knees stay soft. Move your energy from your hips to your neck, up through your spine. Feel your energy shift and give you a lightness of being, like your upper body, hips and up are light as a feather and hips down as heavy as metal. And just experience the lightness of your rib cage, your spine, your back body, your lungs, your shoulders. And we're gonna experience that mentally for 10 seconds, starting now. Keep your eyes closed if you can. Move your energy and focus to your shoulders down to your fingertips, stopping rather at your wrist, shoulders to wrist, and I really want you to imagine that your arms are made out of feathers. Just feel the lightness and notice if you really get into it, your arms might start to lift away from your body. We're holding for 10. Let your kneecaps soften. Let your buns and your quads be soft. Three, two, one. Now using the power of your mind with your eyes closed, I want you to make your fingers tingle. I want you to feel your hands tingle. We're gonna do this for 10 seconds together with our eyes closed, starting now. Now 
Move the energy back up through your arms, through your shoulders, into your neck, into your scalp, your skull, your face, and let your whole head absolutely be light as you can make it. You can feel energy going through your brain, down your spinal cord. Everything's alive but relaxed for 10 seconds, starting now. Go with your body as it sways. Don't try to control the sway, just go with it. And now keeping your eyes closed, I want you to pretend like you've got cement blocks on your feet. Your body is so light, but your feet are heavy and they're bolted to the ground. And I want you to see if you can actually transfer your weight with your mind, starting now for 10 seconds. Let your knees soften. And one. Without opening your eyes, put your right hand on your heart. Put your left hand on your abdominal area, like you're caring for yourself. Keeping your eyes closed, I want you to make a wish for yourself that only applies to you. It can be about anyone. It can be about you. It can be about your pets, the world, but something that's important to you. And I want you to make a little wish. We're all going to make our own. Spend about 15 seconds on this starting now. Let it be as outlandish or practical as you choose. Keep your knees soft. Drop your arms to the side, shake your hands, open your eyes, kind of wake up your body, wiggle your knees, wiggle your hips, wiggle it all. Get the energy of the day out, 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 out. You're ready to calm down for the rest of your evening. Have a great evening. Have a clean slate for tomorrow. Put your hands together in yoga prayer shape and on the count of three, let's say it loud so the new people can hear, okay? One, two, three. Namaste, stretchies. I think tomorrow's our two and a half year anniversary. I'll be in a board meeting all day though, so I can't do stretchies tomorrow, but we will the next day. Thank you so much for being here. Again, the work we did was standing Long leg, hands and knees, long leg, and again, I'm opening my hip right now, I'm not supposed to, it's hip down, hip is down, and then on tummy, long leg, and that's really good for strengthening and toning. I'm so far away from my phone, I haven't gotten to see comments for about 15 minutes, but thank you for being here. Again, tomorrow is two and a half years. I think we'll do a giveaway for our group on Thursday, a donation, one of those donation giveaway thingies. I'll come up with something and we'll do that drawing on Thursday. So I'll give you plenty of warning. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And again, if you didn't tune in in the very beginning, we have two foster dogs. We might be foster failures. We don't know. We're just going to go with it and see what happens. God loves Scott because I said, no, no, no. We got to only keep the one. And Scott said, what's five dogs? What's the difference between five and six? Not much. Okay. Mwah. I'll talk to you guys soon. Happy anniversary tribe is right. Thank you. I just saw the last five people saying thank you. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for keeping me accountable. Sorry for the interruptions. The irony is before class, I'll text people and say, don't call because I'm doing stretch and then they call, but you know, um, Marcy, right? Stan and Lucy. I was thinking Stan and Lois because family guy, but I keep calling her Lucy. Her name is Chica. You guys, Donna, thank you. Judy B. June. I just found Toby Babina. I just found Tobes. Can you believe it? He looks so cute. Hi, Erica. Thank you, honey. Bye, Georgie and Frankie. Bye for Reva. 
Um, Junie Silva, somebody else I've known my entire life, and she has three of the most beautiful sons, and they're all firefighters like her husband. He was the fire chief. Ellie, they, I, Ellie, no, 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 we don't. You're so sweet. But we said no a few times. We're like, no, 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 no. We said no. But uh, we, we said yes in the end. So um, bye for Reba. Bye, Sea Life Molly. Thank you, Ellie. Bye, Karen. Bye, Symbol Simon. Bye, Marcy. Your kitty's Lucy. That's cute. I want garlic, too. I bought a giant bag of garlic tonight. Bye, for Reba. Bye, Sarah. Sarah, I'm really happy to hear that. Bye, Donna. Bye, Sea Life. Bye, Mama. Mama, I was thinking about you for those, for that, for this. Bye, Erica. Bye, Mason. See, the puppy came to say bye to you. So I hope not. Well, maybe Ellie, right? But Mama, I was thinking about you with the hands and knees, the reach, and then the stretch. And Ellie, you too. It gets into your low back really easily. Um, one is, we think, nine and one is four. The nine-year-old's had a rough road. She was in bad shape, but Allison got her in good shape. And then the little boy, um, Stanley, he's been bopped around a little. So he's gone like, duh, duh, duh. so we'll see what happens. Pug in the kitchen. Stan and Lucy, thank you. Um, bye, Donna. Bye, Ellie. Bye, you guys. Bye, Lemmy. Yeah, I'll give them lots, right? I know what you mean, Lemmy. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. See you the next day. Bye-bye.